Hey, it's Jonathan, and thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you in good fortune. See, I guess it wasn't the last video, but the video before the last, uh, when we were looking at Bitcoin, I was showing you this large hidden divergence here. We were sitting right around that uh, 32, 33 area, and I was talking about how I didn't believe that we were going to see this low again. Um, we weren't going to see these low agains that we were going to move up. Since then, we had a uh, 10 candle. I think it's 10 candles. 10 candle streak. We haven't had, we haven't had. Uh, let's see, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten candles up. We haven't seen that for years. Um, uh, straight 10 candles up. So that was a very nice looking move. Look at that uh, volume spike right there in the middle of it pulled back and then moved back up. Ten candles up. That's very nice. Um, so that was the video before last that I was. we were down here and I was saying that we weren't going to see this area again. We moved up. Then the last video I was talking about on this uh, one, one hour chart here. Just to recap, uh, we were sitting right about the 39,000 area and I was saying that if we could bring the relative strength back down to the over sole area without breaking this 36,000 area then we'd see another move to the upside which is exactly what we did we saw this move to the upside here can't, we can't, our relative strength got back down we did not break this 36 and then we saw this move to the upside uh, since then we've just had a, a little retracement which is expected after 10 days uh, up this morning, um, I actually, you know, when I say I entered positions, uh, I have a core position. Um, if I'm bullish on something, I have a core position that's that's bullish on it, and then I have other positions. I just go in and out of the market, trying to capture some of the market movement. And so when I say I'm trading, I'm, what I'm talking about is not my core positions, but my uh, just trading positions, just in and out. I do that so that I can. Uh, so that I can learn how the market moves so that I can recognize these patterns when they happen on large time frames So anyway this morning and I'm gonna try to figure out a way where I can let you know exactly when I'm trading Sometimes it's hard for me to sit down and make a video. I just um, You know when it's time to trade I just trade right so this position uh, here. I was this morning. I got um, into this position here I actually traded a little position I'm still in a position that I had here but this morning I got into a little position called a bounce on that actually I got in a position on GBTC too I got a real nice uh, real nice entry point on GBTC I'll go into that in a bit in a second here um, but so we had this uh, what I was looking at this morning was this divergence price was moving down relative strength was mo moving up so we've moved up nicely. We're at this 50% mark on this descending cha uh, channel. And we're at a resistance on our relative strength. I still see this going up if we can stay above that 36, 36.5 area. I still see this going up. We might have a pullback short term bounce. Could even break this lower uh, channel. A bounce and then a move up from there um, I would actually what I had hoped it would do which it did not do at least not yet is I hope that we would see it pull back to our 50 point on our descending long-term channel here that's what I right right about here and then get a decent bounce off of that and then move up but this was a very strong move up this was very nice looking uh, so anyway Let's see what we have here. So I'm still in this position. I think we're going to see more upside on this. We may get a pullback, uh, but I'm still a buyer at this point. I'm I'm willing to, uh, uh, you know, willing to see a little downside on this. It, it's not going to concern me at all uh, on short short term position as long as we stay above uh, this area right here, this uh, 36 area. I think we're in the short term. We're still going to move up and. Um, Shooting for a target of uh, four, around 41, top of our triangle, giving it time to move out, right, right around 41.5, something like that. 
Uh, let's see one more thing. That's a uh, short term frames at 41.5, uh, 43, 42, 43 is where I'll probably be considering getting out of my short positions at the top of this uh, descending channel right here. I would sus suspect it would hit about here, come back, have another bounce, and then I'd like to see it move up from there. In fact, I'd like to see it come back so that it can char recharge itself back up and then move up from there, break out of this. Once we break out of this, uh, that's going to be nice. Anyway, GBTC, I had an entry um, this morning. I'm still in the position. The reason that I'm trading, G if you don't know what GBTC is, GBTC is a a trust that mimics Bitcoin. And the reason you would want to trade B GBTC is because I can trade it in my uh, Roth IRA. Um, actually, I probably should make another. I'll make another video on that. Uh, there's a number of reasons you would want to trade in a Roth IRA. If you don't know about what a Roth IRA is, uh, there's reasons that you would want to trade in, in, in a Roth IRA. And it's just easier for me because I already had my IRA set up. I didn't want to transfer and all that stuff uh, to trade GBTC as opposed to Bitcoin. Um, at, now they're starting to come out with IRAs that you can trade uh, Bitcoin and other, other cryptos in. But at the time when I started this, uh, you weren't there wasn't really too many options. So GBTC was, was pretty much my option to trade um, something that would mimic Bitcoin. So I'm in a position here. I actually got in a position this morning at uh, 31.25, which was a very decent entry. And uh, I, I had that position set from all the way up here. So that was the entry I had set from all the way up here. And it was just uh, hit just right. So, you know, it happens sometime, right? Uh, the low on this was 31.01. So right now we're sitting in that. I'm looking for it to... Uh, come on up. Of course, yeah, I have to watch Bitcoin because it follows Bitcoin. But I'm looking for an uh, exit on that short... I have a long-term position in this, but my short-term position, I'm looking for an exit right around that 34.50 area, which would be nice. So I guess, I guess that's it for today. I'm just uh, hanging in there on Bitcoin. Um, still see upside. Uh, to this right at this point as long as we don't go below that 36 if we go below that 36 of course I'm going to watch it what it looks like when we get up here with the relative strength if we can break out of here or not out of this area um, and that's what uh, that's what I'm looking at now first target is uh, 43 uh, to the upside downside target would be 36 if we see it go that way which I, which I don't really think it's going to. Uh, second target it's around 44, 43, 44 in those areas. And if we can get a break of that, this descending channel, that would be that would be very strong. Uh, if we could possibly get a break of this descending channel here on the daily chart, and then have a little bit of a retracement down the top of it to bring our relative strength back down, and then maybe launch back off, that would be. Uh, that would look good to me. Okay, anyway, that's that. Uh, thank you for joining me today. You all are beautiful, and I will see you next time. Make sure you give me a like, a subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and see if I can pull that uh, Roth IRA video together because it's very important, especially if you're young or if you're trading, for you to understand what a Roth IRA is and why you should have one, why you should be trading actively trading in your Roth IRA. So, okay. Very good. See you next time.